Hey guys, RK Figs here, coming at you today with some early figs. These are the first two main crop figs that I have gotten. And I'm going to show them to you right now. Okay, the first one that is right over here, and you can see... I have it nicely well protected in the bag and we got some some cracking going on there and I still it's feel a little bit hard but you know what screw it I'm in the mood for some figs all right so this is an improved Celeste okay improved Celeste and I believe I see another one in the back starting to ripen. This tree is definitely a tree that you want to have in your collection if you live anywhere near me because the figs are early and they're sugary sweet and delicious. All right, now this next one. And this tree, I can tell you a story about this tree. I can tell you a story about this tree. This tree had like 10 bariba on it, okay? 10 bribas. And I went away and they must have ripened like the end of June because I was back on July the 4th and they had all fell on the floor and had turned black. So they must have ripened in June sometime while I was away. So what is this tree? Can you guess what is so early? This tree is called a Rasty Persian unknown or it's got a new name now called Iranian candy okay and this is a fig that I have not tasted before <laughs> like I said 10 briba went to waste and this is a main crop and what's really good about this tree and and the improved Celeste kind of shares a little bit of this is the hang time the hang time on this tree and that's the time where when the fig starts to swell, so let me show you here. So here's a regular fig just sitting and waiting for the time that it starts to ripen. And this is a fig that is in the ripening process. So going from this to this is the hang time. And for this tree, this Iranian candy tree, that hang time is very short, maybe like three to four days and other other figs it can take a week or two all right but you could see here this i'm pressing it and it's not going back to its shape so this is definitely ready so i'm very excited always excited about new figs both are in a bag but we're going to go inside right now and we're going to try them out i'm also going to tell you about another early fig in my garden and i will get to that a little bit later on but first have a look at this this is my panache and you can see uh, for those of you that know panache you can see how beautiful the figs are nice and variegated okay these ones here got sunburned because i had them uh inside my greenhouse tent and then when i brought them out they got sunburned but take a look at what's going on over here this branch here of panache has reverted back to non variegated so you're going to get the exact same fig the exact same taste the high quality that this fig is but in a non variegated form so what i'm going to have to do because i don't want non variegated the whole thing with panache is how beautiful it looks with the variegation, obviously, as well as the taste. But I'm going to have to cut this off so that this branch ceases to continue. But I'll definitely not do that before picking the figs and, and enjoying how delicious they are. So here is the other early fig that I told you about. And this fig is pastelieri now i haven't gotten any figs from this yet 
Um, and the, the, the thing with this tree is and apparently in the first few years, it keeps dropping its figs and it, it has dropped many figs this year and last year. But even last year, I was able to get some uh, figs from it. So I'm definitely hoping and, and thinking that I should get uh, more than I did last year. And it is delicious. It's like almost like fig grapes. Uh, they're so good. But uh, we'll wait and see how it is with the uh, more mature developed taste. That's uh, one of the figs that uh, it has dropped. So let's um, weigh these guys up and see what we get. We'll start off with the improved Celeste, which is smaller. And this one's only 18 grams. Improved Celeste. And then our Iranian candy, which is 35 grams. Hmm, I'm shocked. I looked even like it would be slightly heavier. Okay, let's take a look inside these guys. Okay, so first is our uh, Iranian candy. And as you can see, the neck got mangled there when I when I picked it. And then our improved Celeste, which has such a beautiful, long, beautiful neck. All right, let's try it out. Okay, and there's the inside. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Uh, definitely, definitely a great fig, guys. If you don't have Irene, um, improved Celeste, try to add it to your collection. It's not even like a, an expensive fig. It's it's a an older fig. A lot of people have it, so you should be able to get one for very, very cheap. I believe I have one on my website as well. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. I love that sugary improved Celeste taste. Can't get enough of that taste. Oh man, I could eat 10 of those right now. And here we go. This is our Iranian candy. Definitely a beautiful looking fig. Love it. It's like a beautiful design in there. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very figgy with like a, a deep sugar honey flavor. Very delicious. I am so happy I have this tree. I did not think it was going to be this good. Many other uh, early varieties. Uh, don't have this kind of flavor and complexity. And this is like the first year it's producing. So generally it should be uh, on the lower flavor side. And this tree is, uh, that's definitely not low flavor. So I can only imagine uh, how improved future figs off of this tree will be. And believe me, there's a lot of them on there. So I can't wait. I'm RK Figs. We'll see you next time.